Oh my god, Agatha All Along has absolutely blown my mind with just its two-episode premiere. Seriously, I wasn't expecting this much mystery so early on, but here we are. If you've watched it, I bet you know exactly what I mean, right? What? Okay, let's start with some of the crazy things we saw. Wanda Maximoff's body, found in Westview after that intense incident at Wondagore Mountain from the end of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Like, are you kidding me? I had no idea why she ended up there. Like seriously, what was going on? And then boom, the Darkhold copy burned down in the Westview library. Who would have thought there was more than one Darkhold in this town? That really threw me for a loop. Plus, there's Teen, who's slowly being teased as Billy Kaplan, AKA Wanda's son. Are we about to witness Wiccan's big debut in the MCU? That's where all the signs are pointing, and I couldn't be more hyped. And let's not forget The Witch's Road, which Marvel promised to make a big deal in this series. The first two episodes wasted no time diving straight into it. The Witch's Road. I want you to take me there. It's clearly going to play a massive role, so in this video, we're gonna break it all down. The mystical witch's road, its role in Marvel Comics, and how it might just pull off the unthinkable, bringing Wanda Maximoff back as the Scarlet Witch. Who else misses Wanda, by the way? Right? Like, come on, we all need Wanda back in our lives. I'm crossing my fingers here, people. Mm. Wow. Now, quick heads up, no major spoilers here. But if you haven't seen the first two episodes yet, what are you even doing? Go watch them right now. Seriously, pause this video, fire up Disney Plus, and get to it. Check me out. Trust me, you don't want to miss out. And hey, while you're at it, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. We're going to be breaking down each episode in detail as the series unfolds. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, let's get into the characters we've been introduced to so far. First up, we've got the mysterious team, played by Joe Locke. Marvel's being pretty sneaky with this guy, but all signs point to him being Billy Kaplan, and I'm here for it. Then we've got a coven of witches, including Jennifer Kale, played by Sashir Zamata, Alice Wu Gulliver, played by Ali Ahn, Lilia Caldero, played by Patti Lupone, and Mrs. Hart, played by Deborah Jo Rupp, who you might remember from WandaVision. These witches seem to be Westview residents who were affected by Wanda's hex and somehow got drawn into her spell. I'm loving the mystery around these characters. It's got me guessing what they're up to. And of course, Agatha Harkness, perfectly portrayed by Katherine Hahn. Oh, and we cannot forget about Green Witch, AKA Rio Vidal, played by Aubrey Plaza. Plaza is killing it in this role. I swear, every time she's on screen, she cranks up the tension by a thousand percent. I'm not even sure if she's a villain or not, but I'm so ready to find out. And speaking of familiar faces, we've got some returning characters from WandaVision too, which is such a cool throwback for anyone who's been following the story from the start. Now, let's talk about the big moment that totally floored me, the discovery of Wanda's body in the Westview Forest. It's heartbreaking, but at the same time, I kinda saw it coming. I mean, the series was clearly building up to some sort of reveal like this. So it turns out that Agatha, still under the influence of Scarlet Witch's magic, doesn't recognize it at first. It's Teen or Rio Vidal who finally breaks the spell and snaps her out of it. And that's when she realizes it's Wanda's body. That witch is gone and all the copies of the dark hold with her. It's a dark moment, but man, the emotional weight of it really hits. But here's where it gets wild. Rio Vidal, Green Witch herself, has been trying to get Agatha to understand what's really going on from the start. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Do you remember why you hate me? She's been dropping hints and nudging Agatha in the right direction. The clues are everywhere. And I'll dive more into Wanda's death in a future video. But all I'll say for now is this. Wanda might not be as gone as we think. That's all I'll say. Marvel loves to pull fast ones on us, right? The road promises. Okay, so Teen, here's the thing. End. Agatha keeps calling him Teen, but that's just her nickname for him. His real name, still a mystery. He's also called Pet at one point. Who is this child? I'm my pet. This is my pet. 
and he's the one who broke Scarlet Witch's spell, waking Agatha up. He's also a huge Agatha fanboy. Like, he's obsessed with her. I've been obsessed since I first showed up in your Salem days. The guy knows everything about Agatha's life. Okay, so confession, I know an egregious amount about you. Kind of creepy, but also super interesting. He even pulls off some reality warping magic of his own. What? Although, let's be real, he's still figuring it out. Definitely not on Wanda's level. What's fascinating is that every time Teen tries to reveal more about himself, the show does this clever thing where it messes with his words. There's this one moment where Agatha asks for his name and bam, his mouth gets magically sealed shut with some kind of symbol. Who are you? My name is Wayne. Looks like an M or W, which could be a nod to Maximoff or Wanda, or maybe even William Kaplan. Say again. The show's definitely having fun teasing us here. And then there's that car scene where Agatha asks where he's from. Just before things get all garbled, you can make out that he was born and raised in Westview. Where are you from? I was born. That's huge. If Teen really grew up in Westview, that's a major clue that he could be Billy Kaplan. Especially since in WandaVision, there were no kids in Westview except for Tommy and Billy. Coincidence? I think not. Even though everything's pointing to Teen being Billy Kaplan, Wanda's son, I can't say for sure. Here's the thing. Wanda's death has been confirmed multiple times in these first two episodes. She's gone. Or at least her physical body is. Yet Teen doesn't seem all that broken up about it. Which makes me think he could be a manifestation of Wanda's magic that originally formed Billy. Or maybe he's Billy, but from a different universe. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Let's set the plot aside for now and focus on the witch's road. Without understanding this mystical path, you're gonna struggle to keep up with the upcoming episodes and all the theories about Agatha all along, Scarlet Witch, and Wiccan. The Witch's Road is a mystical path only skilled witches can access. It's also a gateway connecting different magical dimensions, holding some mysterious energy that witches can tap into if they make it through. This energy is said to restore a witch's powers and even grant their deepest desires. And this is why Teen and Agatha have gathered a witch coven to venture down the Witch's Road. The Witch's Road first appeared in Scarlet Witch issue 3 back in 2016, written by James Robinson. It's closely tied to Wanda Maximoff's storyline, so it's no surprise that it's popping up in Agatha all along. In the comics, the Witch's Road is also known as Magicka, and it's where Wanda got the power that awakened the Scarlet Witch within her. Pretty intense, right? There's this amazing moment in the comics where Wanda's on a mission to lift a curse in Ireland and she has to walk the witch's road to do it. She also has to restore her witchcraft powers, which is the magic that's passed down to all witches by their bloodline. Wanda, Agatha, Alice Wu, you name it. In those comics, Wanda is guided through the witch's road by none other than the ghost of Agatha Harkness. Yeah, Agatha was dead at this point, but her spirit was still around, helping Wanda out. She was Wanda's mentor, teacher, and a fellow coven member on that journey. And here's the real kicker. The Witch's Road is always tied to Rebirth in Marvel's comics. Guess who Wanda bumps into while walking the Witch's Road? None other than her biological mother, Natalia Maximoff, who was the Scarlet Witch before Wanda. Mind blown, right? After meeting her mom, Wanda finally claims the mantle of the Scarlet Witch for herself. The Witch's Road basically revives her powers and gives her the strength to become who she was always meant to be. And I've got a feeling that Agatha all along is headed in the same direction. It's no coincidence Agatha all along is focusing on the Witch's Road. Agatha's lost her powers, much like how witchcraft needed restoring in the comics. Plus, Teen has a wish, and it can only be granted through the you Witch's really Road. You're gonna run them with no magic at all? Bringing back Wanda Maximoff. In my opinion, Agatha all along is borrowing from the comics in the best way possible. Of course, they're making some tweaks to fit it into the MCU. In the comics, Agatha's ghost guided Wanda through the witch's road. But in the show, it seems like teen, ghost, Billy Kaplan, wants to bring Wanda back. There's likely a Scarlet Witch hanging around somewhere in the witch's road. In the comics, it was Natalia Maximoff, Wanda's mom and Billy's grandma. But in the series, 
who knows? Wanda's spirit could be waiting at the end of the road for the next wielder of witchcraft. Wiccan? Let's save that as a big question for the series finale. As for Agatha and her witchy squad, honestly, Agatha still feels like that friendly neighbor to me. She's got a lot of potential in the MCU's future. She might even connect the Avengers to the Fantastic Four, considering her comic book ties to them. But if they want to make her feel like more of a villain, I think one series is enough. My prediction? Agatha all along is setting up the return of Scarlet Witch, or at least her magical heir. This could even be the bridge that brings Kamala Khan to Westview and recruits Teen for the Young Avengers. Oops, did I say too much? Anyway, if you've watched this far, I seriously appreciate it. I feel like we share the same obsession with the MCU and its superheroes. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do, because I'm dropping theory and review videos like this every day, especially for Agatha all along. Hit that thumbs up and share it with your friends, because we need more members in our coven. And check out the videos on the end screen for more on Scarlet Witch, Easter Egg, and Deadpool and Wolverine, or an origin story about Null, the potential new MCU big bad in Venom The Last Dance. You won't want to miss it. See you in the next one.